Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss all things China scholarships. But before we get into the scholarships, kindly subscribe, like, share, or leave a comment down below. It helps the channel grow and it encourages me to bring more to you. So if you appreciate this content, kindly subscribe, like, comment, or share this video. Thanks. If you'd like any support on your application, whether it's any of the scholarships that I'm talking about in this video or any scholarship that you may come across, please reach out to me for a one-on-one. -on -one. I'll leave the link down below where you can be able to book a session with me. We're going to go through 13 fully funded scholarships in China. But first of all, China offers scholarships in three ways. We have the Chinese government scholarships, the provincial scholarships, and the university scholarships. The Chinese government scholarships are from the China government. The provincial scholarships are from the different provinces. China is the fourth largest country in the world, if I'm not mistaken, and it has over 20 provinces. Each province, or at least quite a number of provinces, have scholarships that they offer to different international students so that they can attract diversity within their province. We're going to look at the different province scholarships, government scholarships, and university scholarships. This is not all. Like I've mentioned, there are over 20 provinces, so you might go and find other scholarships scholarships other than the ones I'm mentioning today I'm speaking to uh, just about 13 scholarships which are a mix of government provincial and university scholarships so let's get into our very first one the Chinese government scholarship in order to strengthen mutual understanding and friendships between the Chinese and people around the world and promote China's exchange and cooperation with other countries in various fields, the Chinese government has set up scholarships for talented students and scholars to pursue higher education or conduct research in Chinese university. This scholarship is open to undergraduate, master's, and PhD students. It covers tuition fees, accommodation, monthly living stipend, comprehensive health insurance, and applications are normally open between 15th December and close around 30th April. So you might still be able to find this opportunity open. We have the Shanghai Government Scholarship, which is a provincial fully funded scholarship for international students applying to universities in Shanghai. This scholarship is offered for undergraduate, master's and PhD studies, and it covers full tuition, accommodation on campus. It provides comprehensive health insurance, monthly living stipend, and applications are open on 1st January and close on 1st June, so you can still be able to find this opportunity available. The Central South University Scholarship is another that we are looking at, and it supports master's and PhD students to pursue their degrees in China. Now, this is a university scholarship. The scholarship covers full tuition, accommodation on campus, provides comprehensive health insurance, a monthly stipend and applications are open on 1st January and close on 31st May. The next scholarship we're going to discuss, but pronunciation might be off, and it's the Jiangusu School Scholarship. It's also a university scholarship that covers tuition fees, living stipend, and applications close on 4th August. It's available to bachelor's, master's, and PhD students. We also have that Tsinghua University. You will excuse me the pronunciations. It's a university scholarship that offers highly competitive scholarships to international students hoping to study their master's in China. Prospective students do not need to fill out an extra application form for tuition scholarships for this one. So the schools or the department select the tuition scholarship candidate from outstanding pre-admitted applicants. The scholarship covers full tuition costs and is valid for one year, which is renewable if your course is more than one year. Applications close on 1st February. The Beijing Government Scholarship is a provincial scholarship and it covers bachelor's, master's, and PhD students. 
It has different values for master's, bachelor's, and the doctoral degree. The applications open on 1st February and close on 1st June. Next, we have the Peking University. This is a university scholarship that covers bachelor's, master's, and PhD degrees. So the full scholarship covers tuition, living stipend, which includes accommodation subsidy, and a comprehensive medical insurance. With this, if you don't get the full scholarship, Scholarship. There's also a partial scholarship that just covers tuition, so uh, have that in mind. The applications open on 16th October and close on 15th December. The Biomedical Science Scholarship is a university scholarship that six bachelor's degree students in biomedical science and it's in collaboration between Z, Z Hank University and University of Edinburgh. Now the scholarship offers part of full tuition, room and board and then also offers students health insurance for four years. Applications are open on 1st May and close on 1st June. The Zhengzhou University is also a university scholarship that covers doctoral degrees. The scholarship caters to full tuition, accommodation, and a living stipend. Applications are open on 1st March and close on 15th June. We have the Zhengzhou University Scholarship that sponsors those looking to study doctoral degrees. This scholarship covers full tuition, accommodation, a living stipend, and applications are open on 1st March and close on 15th June. We've got this other scholarship, as in Jiang Otomas Regional Scholarship, which is a provincial scholarship that covers bachelor's, master's or PhD and the scholarship includes full tuition fees, accommodation fees, a living stipend and health insurance. Application deadlines are determined by the different institutions in this province. We have the Tianjin Municipal Government Scholarship that sponsors students pursuing master's and PhD. The scholarship includes tuition fees, accommodation fees, living stipend, and a comprehensive health insurance. Applications run from 15th October to 31st May. We have the Yunnan Provincial Government Scholarship which sponsors students pursuing full-time master's and bachelor's degree. The scholarship covers tuition fees, living stipend, insurance, and applications run from 20th February to 20th May. And finally, we have the Fujian Provincial Government Scholarship. Now, this is not exactly a full scholarship, but I included it so that we can still be able to take advantage of the opportunity, especially if you can. With this scholarship, the scholarship awardees need to first complete registration as a self-supporting new student and pay all the fees required for study within the stipulated time. The university will then return the relevant fees that were originally paid by the recipient in accordance with the scholarship's content in the next spring. So the tuition that you pay, if you get the scholarship, you are reimbursed. So you can reach out to the university to find out a little bit more. But this runs from 1st December to 10th April. And that's it for today. Remember, the application process is quite hard. But it might be hard, but nothing is ever impossible. Good luck.